I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. What if I were to tell you that I am not even a human being? Would you believe me? What is your perception of reality? Is it the ability to capture, process, and make sense of the information our senses receive? If you can see, hear, taste, or smell something, does that make it real? Or is it simply the ability to feel? All right, uh, Matthew chapter 10 and verse 22. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Shalom, yes, Allah, peace, Israel. Call hello, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. It's the brother of Al-Gabar from the Camp Prophets in Babylon, Tampa, Florida. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who do indeed teach you well. Peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad doing this work in truth and in sincerity. Demonization is coming. All right. Deep fake videos and AI technology, artificial intelligence. All right. And this, you know, they, they're going to use this to demonize the prophets, man. You know, you see this video. I'm going to play it one more time. You know, this guy looks just like Morgan Freeman on the top, but it's really AI. And you see the bottom, that's the guy who's really talking. All right? Hey, the voice even sounds just like him. They've been having videos come out where people are getting scammed by artificial intelligence, man. Because they can match your voice perfectly. And all they need is a little clip of your voice, a little video of you. And they can make a deep fake of you. Okay? Have you on the news Imagine that you wake up one day, you on the news saying some shit you never said before, man. All right. But we know it's coming, man. And, and through that, we're going to have to remain firm in our faith. All right. That's what's going to, hey, we're going to be saved by our faith. All right. The scriptures say that you shall be hated of all men. Hey, the Lord say he's coming to cause division. Even within your household, man. How, how's your uh, family going to feel when they see you on the news saying some off the wall shit that you never said, man? You know? So this is the times we coming into, man. Hey, Shalom to the brothers and sisters tuning in. Shalom, Shalom. <clears throat> Play the video one more time. Look at this shit, man. And like I said, for the men of the Lord, the prophets, you know, keep your eyes open because, you know, they can very well use this AI technology to demonize the prophets, you know? And you, just like they hated our Lord, Yahweh Shai, when he was on the scene, you know, the Lord himself said, if they hated me, know that they'll hate you also, man. We're going to be hated of all men. You know, we're not in this truth to be loved and liked. You know, we're not in this truth for numbers. All right, we're in this truth ultimately to do the will of him that sent us, which is Yahweh Shai, to feed his sheep. All right, ultimately the world hates us for that. And it's not us that they hate, it's the, the spirit we come in, which is the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I'll play it one more time. I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. What if I were to tell you that I am not even a human being? Would you believe me? What is your perception of reality? Is it the ability to capture, process, and make sense of the information our senses receive? If you can see, hear, taste, or smell something, does that make it real? Or is it simply the ability to feel? So there you have it, man. And you know, in uh, Revelation, it says that they deceived them by way ways of those miracles, man. You know, this is likened unto a miracle, man. All right, they're going to have all different types of AI, artificial intelligence, out here deceiving the people man <clears throat> but as we know it is impossible to deceive the elect okay the elect of the nation of israel men women and children you know starting with 144,000, will not be deceived let me go something real quick this is uh revelation 13 <clears throat> in verse 14 
It says, and deceive them that dwell on the earth by means of those miracles which he have power to do in the sight of the beast. So a lot of people are going to be deceived into taking the MOTB, into believing, you know, the lies that this, this devil is going to push, demonizing the prophets. Right, a lot of people are going to be deceived by the ways of these miracles, okay, the AI, artificial intelligence, you know, the, the uh, C-HIP, you know, because when they bring out the Karagma, the C-H-I-P, the digital tag that they want to embed under everybody's flesh, they're going to package it up nice, they're going to push it to the, the masses, but they're going to tell you all the benefits, they say, look, if you're blind, you can see again, if you, if you can't walk, you can walk again. So people are going to be deceived by these miracles that are happening. A man that is a paraplegic, he can't walk. And they put a damn microchip inside of him. He can walk again. That's a miracle. All right. <clears throat> and Salakia, man, I'm kind of under the weather right now. So bear with me. Revelation 13 and 14, it says, And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And the image of the beast is this, this system that we're in right now. All right. The first beast is the Roman Empire, the ancient Roman Empire. And the second beast is the beast that the beast system we're living in today, made up of NATO and the EU. And then you have America that's spearheading this beast system. All right. But nonetheless, the men of the Lord, the real men of the Lord are going to be hated, are going to be despised. Right, and we gotta understand this. We gotta understand what we signed up for. Count the cost of what we're a part of, man. Because hey, they're gonna come down with great wrath and they're gonna demonize. Second Thess Thessalonians 2 and 8. <clears throat> and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Alright, so right now the wicked is being revealed. Right, Malachi 1 and uh, 4, it tells you who the wicked is, Esau, Edom. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Then you got Luke chapter 1 and 70, it tells you that the Lord spoke by the mouth of the prophets. So I'm going to read it one more time. It says, and then shall that wicked be revealed. What's happening right now? The wicked is being revealed. How is they being revealed? It says, whom the Lord shall consume by the spirit of his mouth. And the spirit of the Lord's mouth is the prophets. The prophets are exposing this devil's plans, man. It says, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Because ultimately, the Lord is coming back to destroy these devils, man. All right, so they're going to try. They're going to do everything in their power to demonize. To make us look like we're the bad guy. When really, they're they the bad guy. All right. And that's when Yahweh Shai ultimately going to come back and rain fire on them, man. It says, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. Okay, these Edomites, all right, starting with the wicked elite, the bankers, the so-called white man. His coming is after the working of Satan. He's doing Satan's bidding, man. It says, even him whose coming is after Satan is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. All right, so this devil... You know, this is part of his lying wonders, man. You know, deep fake AI videos, man. They got all different types of videos going out of, you know, celebrities. They got even got videos of Biden, Donald Trump, and it's not even them. <clears throat> all right. So how much more when you see your face on the Channel 7 News, man, saying some off the wall shit you never said? What's your family going to think about you? Quote unquote friends, which ain't no friends, man. We got brothers and sisters in the name of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shah, man. All right, but this is what we got to prepare for. This is um, <clears throat> Matthew chapter 10 and 22. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and start at verse 17. It says, but beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. Hey. Imagine that. Imagine you get, hey, the scriptures say, fear none of those things, they shall cast some of you into prison. Imagine that. They come and get you and they take you right before the elites, man. They take you right before 
the global elite. It says, and you shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. So it's going to be turned into a testimony, man. Also, that's going to be a trial of brothers' faiths. Okay, being brought before the kings and governors, judges. They might, might even be brought before the elite. It says, but when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what you shall speak. So in this time, the men of the Lord are going to be in a different spirit. The Lord's going to be with the men of the Lord, men, women, or children that believe the elect. All right, it says, when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what you shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what you shall speak. For it is not you that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. So ultimately the Lord, Yahweh Yahweh Shai, is going to speak through us. As the scriptures say, um, let me grab this real quick. <clears throat> Luke 21 and 15, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. So the Lord is going to be speaking through the brothers, okay? Speaking through the prophets when they get delivered before governors, judges, elite, the elite. The Lord is going to be speaking through these men, all right? And that the adversaries are not going to be able to gainsay nor resist, all right? <clears throat> I'm going to keep reading. It says, and you shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolk and friends. You see that? So we're coming into a time of great destruction, demonization, and aid. Brothers is going to, you know, be betrayed by your family, betrayed by uh, your literal brothers. Hey, might be even certain members around you. All right. That's why we got to just remain humble and pray the Lord, put the spirit on us to endure this demonization when they come down with great wrath. All right. It says you shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolk and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. So they're going to cause some of the men of the Lord to be put to death, man. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But there shall not an hair of your head perish. And your patience possesses ye your souls. All right, so the Lord ultimately is going to be with his elect. He said not one of the hair on your head is going to perish. And uh, there's a scripture that says the very hairs on your head are numbered. So the Lord, he knows us, all right? And he knows how to deliver the righteous, all right? And actually, let me grab that real quick. Psalms 34 and 19, many are the afflictions of the righteous, many. So we're going to go through many afflictions. We just read a scripture in your patience possesses your souls. When you go into patience, it means suffering. Okay. It goes back to suffering. You know, when you're waiting for something, you're suffering it. All right. It says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh delivereth him out of them all. Okay. Grab this. Uh, so rock 33 and 1. There shall no evil happen unto him that feareth the Lord. But in temptation, even again, he will deliver him. Okay. And hey, ultimately, we're coming into the hour of temptation. All right. And they're going to come down with wrath, man. Upon the children of Israel, primarily the elect, the prophets. The wicked elite, they got a magnifying glass on the prophets right now, man. 
They watching the videos. They watching what's going on. You know, and they get, they getting ready to come down and demonize. All right, and they're gonna use AI technology, this deep fake, the media. That's how they gonna demonize, man. <clears throat> All right. Let me see real quick. All right, the book of Matthew, going back to Matthew 10. In verse 21, it says, And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the child, the, chil the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. So we're coming into a very serious time, man. Family members, friends, people even next to you, all right? Are gonna uh, uh, turn, man. They are gonna turn their backs. At the end of the day, what are you gonna do? What shall separate you from the love of Hamashiach? We'll grab that too. Let me grab that real quick. <clears throat> Matthew. Romans 8 and 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution? See, they about to come down with persecution. They're going to persecute the prophets. Just like they persecuted our Lord. Yahweh Shai said, the servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, if they kept, if they kept my sayings, they will also keep yours, man. And all we're speaking is the words of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, the same words that Yahweh Shai was speaking. We're speaking the same things through the Holy Spirit. So if they hated our Lord for speaking the truth, how much more are they going to hate us? <clears throat> which really they don't hate us, they hate the spirit we come in, which is the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded. So you got, as the scriptures say, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. We're going to be saved by our faith and by our works. Do you believe? For I am persuaded. That neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which is in our Lord Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. So ultimately nothing is going to be able to separate the elect from this truth, from their faith. The elect are going to endure all the way to the end. They're going to stand firm through the demonization, the hate, the loss of family, friends. It might be a woman, children. You know, ultimately, everybody going to turn on you, man. And in that very moment, what are you going to do? Do you really believe? All right. Let's go here. This is um, John 15 and 8. Actually, let me grab this real quick. Matthew 24 and 24. It says that, For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets. Hey, they, these AIs, man, these are like false prophets, man. They can come out there and falsely prophesy. It says, And shall show great signs and wonders. See, these are great signs and wonders. The AI technology, the deep fakes, right? And shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible... They shall de deceive the very elect, if it were possible, which is not possible to deceive the elect. 
so that these wonders and great signs are going to deceive the mass majority of the world. Ultimately, if you're not the elect, you're going to be deceived by this devil, man. All right. That's why you can't believe everything you just see on the media, everything you see on Twitter, on Instagram. You can't just believe everything you see, man. There's a lot of fake videos out here. A lot of fake videos. Hey, they got a lot of fake chariot videos, man. Now, we know the chariots of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai are real. We know that the UFOs are a real thing. But they have fake videos of that, too. <clears throat> so you can't be ignorant. Can't be gullible. You know, we got to be led by the spirit of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, man. John 15 and 18. If the world hates you... You know that it hated me before it hated you. So ultimately, this world hates our Lord, Yahweh Shai, man. And we're coming in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, man. The testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So this world is going to hate us, man. We're not supposed to be loved in this world. You're not supposed to fit in. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. There you go. So we have been chosen out of this world, man. And Yahweh shall we endure all the way to the end to really be chosen. But as of right now, we're, we're out of this world, man. We're not of this world. So the world hates us. It says, remember the word that I say unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will also keep yours. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. All right. So if they persecuted our Lord, they came for our Lord, they demonized our Lord. They will also persecute us, man. They're going to come down with great persecution, man. Let me grab this real quick. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and close it out with this. All right, so persecution is coming. You know, the deep fake, the AI technology, keep your eyes open, you know. Don't be surprised if you see your face on the Channel 7 News saying some off-the-wall shit, man. It's part of the demonization. You know, and we're just watching, you know, just watching... And seeing what this devil's gonna do, man. <clears throat> Luke uh, 21 and 12. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. All right, just jumping down to 17, and you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. And we, that's what we read. You know, ultimately, that's what's going to take place. All right, so and during this time, we got to have our faith on 144,000. All right, because it's going to get very ugly, man. It's going to get shaky. You know, Esau is going to try to shake your faith. He's going to do everything he can to make you denounce the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, man. Even lie on your name. They're going to put lies on your name. They're going to say you this, you a pedophile, you this, you that, you this, you a, a terrorist. You know? And what are you going to do? All we can do is wait for our Lord, man. All right? And have faith in Him, man. All right? <clears throat> this is um 21 and 19. And your patience possesses your soul. So... That's how we're going to possess our souls is through our patience, man. And our patience is going to be tested on a high level. All right? We're going to need you. How about me? How to be with us, man? All right? So, yeah, that was it, man. You know, deep fake AI demonization is coming. Prepare yourself. All right? So, with that, call hello. Yeah, how about me? I was shy. Until next time, I say shalom.